Okay, so I'm in the middle of another project, but I just wanted to take a moment to make a fairly quick video. Uh, I bought my scroll saw recently because I wanted to get away from trying to do things on my CNC. One of the things you see a lot uh, on laser cutters, as well as CNC's, is what's called this living hinge. So I was thinking it would be perfect for the scroll saw, but I can't find any pattern of anybody actually doing it. So I'm just gonna try it tonight. So all I've done is taken a piece of plywood here and I've marked, um, I've marked intervals every half inch going this direction. And I've sort of drawn out the pattern that I think I want. As I said, I'm very new to the scroll saw, so please forgive any egregious scroll saw errors. This is a Craftsman scroll saw, and I've got a foot pedal and a number five reverse tooth blade. There, that's it. And that expels all of my scroll saw knowledge. Okay, so looking at this kerf that I can cut, it is really thin. I, I mean, I shouldn't have any trouble bringing this closer together, and maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have made this whole thing a little closer together, because it doesn't look like that's going to be a problem. There must be a reason no one has done this, so... Maybe I'm just heading down a road that so many other people have already gone down and they're just shaking their heads right now as if to say, oh Peter, it's as if you don't know anything. So after every cut, you have to detension the arm, <laughs> loosen the grip on the blade, remove the blade, pull the workpiece out, put the blade through the new hole, <laughs> re-tighten <laughs> the set screw, and then re-tension the arm. Even with all that, it's faster than my CNC was. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I can go more. I can go more. I'm gonna go more. Let's push it. All right. Whoa, careful. Someone catch the cameraman, he's drunk. So can you cut a lattice hinge on a scroll saw? Yeah, actually, you can. And if you can do it on a scroll saw, you can do it with a coping saw. So there you go. A laser project that you can do with hand tools. Not too, not too difficult, considering that I am pretty much a scroll saw newbie, and I did it in not very much time. Somebody with actual real scroll saw skills could knock this out of the park. And I think widening this center kerf here a little bit would probably make it work even better. So here we go. I just went back, widened up the curves, a much better radius. So, the next step, obviously, is to make a proper pattern and cut that out with even spacing. So you get a nice uniform hinge. But we are 90 degrees with our ragtag test here. Well, there's my distraction for the night. I guess that means I have to actually get back to doing my other project.